Isn't it a funny coincidence that our Germanic Queen celebrates a Diamond Jubilee in the same year that London celebrates all the pomp and circumstance of the best Nazi symbolism money can buy in the form of the Olympic Games? Not only were the famous Olympic rings first popularized by the Nazis during the 1936 Berlin Olympics, but the torch procession was actually invented by the Nazis. That's right, it has nothing to do with Olympia or ancient Greece. It's a Nazi-inspired tradition that England in 2012 is proud to maintain. So look at this clip of the torch relay ceremony. God knows why they're all dressed up as ancient Greeks, because it never happened. It's just another good excuse to perform a mock pagan ritual and broadcast it on worldwide television. And not only are we uh, looking forward to carrying on the tradition of Nazi symbolism here in Great Britain with the Olympic torch procession, we're also carrying on the Nazi tradition of how we treat protesters who dare to use any of the Olympic events to draw attention to their cause. The UK government is issuing banning orders that threaten recipients with five years in jail if they come within 100 yards of any Olympic event. It's a level of paranoia that increases the closer the Olympics gets. But Londoner Simon Moore won't get anywhere near the Games. He protested the building of basketball courts on a green space near the Olympics and was slapped with a control order that forbids him from going near the Olympics or any other celebration taking place this summer. He faces five years in prison if he disobeys. These le legislations are being used to prevent um, lawful and understandable protest um, to aspects of the games which are undemocratic or unpopular. Um, furthermore, the, these legis this legislation won't prevent people from disrupting the games, but what it will do is it will, it will give the ability, the authorities to, to punish people more severely. I think it's insane. Um, I think that it shows the prevailing uh, state of uh, consciousness um, in, in, in our governments and, and the world, uh, which is one of fear, ultimately. Fear and control. Luckily for Simon, he doesn't live near the stadium, but woe betide anyone who does. So, just as in 1936, when the torch procession was met with protests which, quote, were put down with traditional brutality by quaint local security services, as Tom Chivers notes in The Telegraph this week, Anyone attempting to use the 2012 procession to draw attention to their cause will be similarly treated. And you know, in order to clean up the streets before the 1936 Berlin Olympic Games, Hitler merely threw all the undesirables and political dissidents in detention camps, which is exactly what will happen to anyone who breaks these banning orders. So London 2012 has next to nothing to do with sport. I mean, for a start, do you really know anyone who gives a damn about any of these sports? Running, gymnastics, swimming, sounds like a PE lesson, not a global event to be watched by millions. 1500 metres for uh, cram, and uh, not a lot happening, quite uh, unremarkable. Oh good, someone's fallen! Uh, it... So I asked the question, really, why do people care about the Olympic Games? Well, it's because the whole thing is hyped beyond all recognition because it's the global elite's opportunity to showcase not only their pagan, Nazi-inspired rituals, but also their high-tech police state. This is about the politics of fear. Missile launchers on rooftops to fight off Al-Qaeda's imaginary air force. Body scanners, like in the airports, to access Olympic events. LRAD acoustic sound devices to torture demonstrators into submission. Protesters being threatened with these banning orders and rounded up beforehand. This is one giant fear-mongering spectacle. It's a police state showcase for the authorities to remind us that they're the boss. This is one humongous psychological warfare attack. And just like the Queen's Diamond Jubilee, I reject this as part of my culture, I'm calling it out for what it is, and I refuse to have any part of it. Hip, 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 hooray! And hear the word of the Lord. 